This is Win News. Tonight, a contractor charged over the death of Jason Garrels. LNP candidates surge ahead in the polls. And results from the school holiday road safety blitz. Good evening. First tonight, police have charged an electrical contract with manslaughter more than four years after the death of Jason Garrels at a Clermont building site. The 20-year-old worker was electrocuted while carrying a switchboard box. Jason Garrels was just nine days into his labourer's job when his life was cut short. He was also just a few weeks away from his 21st birthday. A coronial inquest last year heard that Jason was asked to move a switchboard box. It was raining and the box allegedly made contact with a life wire. Jason was electrocuted. The young worker collapsed and could not be revived. Yeah, it's one thing to see your child into, into the life. It's you know, it's completely another to see them out of it. Jason's mother was a nurse educator and on duty the day her son died. She arrived at the hospital not knowing it was her boy who'd been brought in. When she entered the hospital, she got a phone call from the same lady who said, it's Jason in the back of the ambulance. An earlier coronial inquiry criticised aspects of the switchboard design. Police have now charged electrical contractor Nathan Day with manslaughter. He was the contractor in charge of electrical safety at the site. The 29-year-old is due to appear in the Brisbane Magistrates Court next week. Alexandra Cullen, Win News. A 20-year-old woman has been sentenced to two and a half years in prison for causing a fatal crash in November 2014. The Rockhampton District Court heard Georgia Kiley was driving a utility at Lotus Creek when she lost control and rolled the vehicle. The crash killed one of her friends who was travelling in the tray and seriously injured two others. Her sentence will be suspended after she serves five months and she is disqualified from driving for three years. Stay with us on Win. Coming up, locals urge to jump on the booze-free bandwagon for Dry July and how you can help name the region's first national sporting team. Welcome back. Rockhampton Regional Council is hosting a forum this week to discuss the idea of establishing a not-for-profit telecommunications service. The objective is to bring fast, reliable and affordable internet connectivity to the region and it's part of Council's Smart Way Forward strategy. A planning group will be formed to establish a business plan to determine if the venture is viable. The forum will be held this Friday at the Empire Conference Centre. You'll need a ticket to get in and they're available at the Council website. Alrighty, David's here with Sport. The Rustlers under 20s make it three in a row. Good evening, Paul. Nice to see you again. It's pretty impressive. The 47th Battalion Trophy is theirs once again. Plus, Queensland Country crushed their city rivals on the big stage, and the Capras split the points with the Tigers in the Q Cup. And just quickly, before I go, congratulations to Central Queensland's Kylie Cronk, who's been inducted into the Australian Softball Hall of Fame. She's an Olympic bronze medalist and a former Queensland captain, so extremely well-deserved. Congratulations to you too, David, on your marriage and welcome back. Thank you. Still to come, the weather details with Corinne. Good evening. Well, a partly cloudy and pleasant start to the week. It'll be cloudy later this week and we're also expecting some rain. I'll have the details in a moment. Tonight's viewer photo, this is thanks to Wendy Mason. She captured this stunning rainbow last week. This was taken over Rocky View. If you have a photo you'd like to share, you can email weather at winqld.com.au or send it to me on Twitter. Temperatures now... St Lawrence got down to 14 degrees, 15 the minimum for Yapoon. Rockhampton dropped to 13 degrees. Gladstone 22 the top uh, today, 22 degrees also for 1770. Pillawilla dropped to 5 degrees, 5 also the minimum for Baralaba. Ralston 8 to 25 degrees, 25 the top for Blackwater today. Emerald reaching 26 degrees and Clermont dropped to 9. On the charts, there's cloud over western and southern Queensland with a low pressure trough. We're seeing patchy light rain. There's low cloud along the coast. Moist onshore winds are triggering a few showers. 
There's a high that's in the Tasman which extends a ridge across Queensland. A surface trough as well over the southwest is moving east. It'll move into eastern Queensland tomorrow. Warmer air will lie across the state ahead of the trough and cooler air in its wake. So tomorrow fine and mostly sunny in the north. High cloud over southern Queensland with some patchy light rain. Temperatures though will be well above the July average for much of the state but cooler for the southwest. Also deceptively powerful surf conditions for southern beaches. Capricornia, mostly sunny tomorrow. Light winds, Yapoon dropping to 15 in the morning and a top of 23 degrees. Mostly sunny for Rockhampton. Gladstone, 15 degrees in the morning and mostly sunny for Billawila, heading for a top of 26 degrees. The Central Highlands and Coalfields, mostly sunny. Light winds, Emerald dropping to 13 degrees in the morning and 20 27 the top for Clermont tomorrow. It is looking mostly sunny. For Capricornia, variable winds about 10 knots, seas below one metre and an east to southeasterly swell tomorrow below one metre, increasing to 1.5 offshore. The Tardadari, you can expect high tide for Oslin Bay at around 10 to 4 tomorrow afternoon, a quarter past nine in the morning for that low tide and low tide for Gladstone sitting at around 5 to 9 tomorrow morning. Sunrise, we're expecting that at 20 to 7. Sunset around half past five and here's how the next seven days are shaping up early fog they're mostly sunny tomorrow heading for a top of 26 degrees we could see a shower on wednesday 23 the top sunny but we could see some um, rain at times in the morning for thursday rain at times for friday as well heading for a top of 17 degrees and possibly heavy falls on saturday at this stage 19 the top with that rain continuing for sunday as well so paul and dave early fog tomorrow and then it's looking mostly sunny thank you corinne before we go remember you can follow the win news team on both facebook and twitter thanks for choosing win news for your local news the project is next and I'll see you tomorrow night at 6. Good night. Good night. This has been a Win News presentation. Win News, Regional Australia's number one news source.